Hey everyone, it's Crypto Profit back with another video, and today we're going to be taking a quick look at Volt Inu. This is a meme cryptocurrency that has done very, very well, but has not blasted off quite yet. So there's going to be an opportunity to buy this dip and potentially see a nice return. I do want to say, guys, before we get into today's video, I am not a financial advisor, so always do your own research before getting involved or invested. The first thing you're going to see here on Volt Inu's webpage is that they have an Ethereum blockchain address and a Volt Inu BSC network address. The cool thing about this is accessibility. So the main thing we want to continue to see in Volt is give more accessibility to the people that want to buy it. Make it easy for them to invest. So you can actually buy on Uniswap right now, and you can also buy on PancakeSwap, giving you very, very easy ease of really access, I should say. Uh, but we can also see Volt can be traded on LBank, BKEX, Hotbit, XT.com, Digifinex, uh, or Digifinex. We're seeing a lot of opportunities here. And that's what, something, you know, really that makes, like I said, a huge, huge difference. And I want to talk a little bit about the current price point on coin market cap. So coin market cap, if you look right now, you know, the Bitcoin's down a little bit. We're seeing a lot of altcoins kind of trending on the down scale in the last at least, I'd say, four to five hours. If we take a look, though, at the all time for Volt, you can see that they've gradually increased over time. Pretty much a solid increase, actually, coming from, you know, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this price point, but you can see where it was trading at. And it's continually, obviously, you know, come to this top right corner, which is a very nice green push for the beginning of Volt Inu. And I will say this last two to three months has been very, very solid. So if we take a look at some of the things going on on Twitter, it makes a little bit more sense. So they invest into NFTs. They have their own NFT collection about to be released. And did you really think there wouldn't be a Volt Ambassador at the Miami NFT Week? So there's huge things going on for Volt Inu. They're obviously trying to stay um, you know, prevalent in the meme cryptocurrency space because there's a lot of people that understand meme cryptocurrencies may not have sometimes utility, but the ones that do are doing very well. And so Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, they've done really well and there's no really uh, kind of getting around that in a way there's meme cryptocurrencies that are going to always remain in the market so why not volt if we jump over to the web page we can see a little bit more about volt inu so volt is a hyper deflationary token whose aim is to investigate in multiple asset classes such as nfts nodes altcoins staking and farming of stable coins Unlike FAAS projects, this investment diversity allows to mitigate the risk whilst taking advantage of the possible non-correlated growth of trending assets. Since VOL is intended to be a hyperdeflationary token, profits made on treasury investments are then used to buy back and burn VOL tokens. In addition to this deflationary mechanism, VOL has implemented an automatic 4% burn tax on BSC. The merger of these two mechan uh, really mechanisms altogether guarantee a continuous rising part, uh, really rising price floor due to the decrease of circulating supply. So we see the tokenomics at work with Volt Inu, and it's going to continue to make a difference. We look at the roadmap as well. So the roadmap has a lot of things on it, and this is one of the biggest things to me personally when it comes to a token is that roadmap. So what is coming up next? What have they accomplished? Well, if you look at stage three, stage four, they've actually got the BSC bridge, smart contract audit, Volt merch, 10,000 holders, billboards, celebrities, press releases dashboard uh legal option or legal opinion down here they have a lot of great things going on some of the cool things to look forward to though i do want to say is the nft collection automated social activity reward system volt swap launchpad incubator um, treasury and staking and farming so some cool things coming for sure that i think could actually improve the price point of volt and this project's overall viability in the space if we jump down a little bit you can see the tokenomics between BSC and ETH blockchains are the exact same. So you're not going to care where you buy it. It's perfectly fine to buy it on PancakeSwap. It's perfectly fine to buy it on Uniswap if you guys are interested. The cool thing is they do have merch that actually doesn't look bad. You know, you've seen some merch in the past from some of these crypto projects. They just look a little bit over the top. There's not much, you know, going on there. Well, they use their pretty cool logo in a lot of their merch, which in my opinion, looks pretty good. But I do want to jump down and, or actually jump back up, I should say, and talk a little bit more about how to buy. So buy on Uniswap, you guys have mostly done this, but if you click this, it'll bring you over to swap. And if you're looking to swap, you'll just import, you'll put your one Ethereum in or whatever you want to use to actually buy it, and you'll see how much Volt you get. Same thing with PancakeSwap. It's very, very simple. A lot of you guys, like I said, have done this. You just need a MetaMask wallet is what I use, and it works great. Uh, you'll just, I understand, import, and again, we just go, okay, I have 0 0.026. This is a 
trash um, a trash wallet, by the way. This is not not my actual wallet, just to let you know. So if anyone's seeing this, I have absolutely nothing in these wallets. So I just wanted to get that out there. But you can see, you know, 0 0.016 BNB will actually get me uh, a lot of Volt because Volt is very, very cheap. Obviously, they're giving you a ton of tokens per cent or per penny. So there's reasons to get involved with Volt, obviously. You can see that there is a lot of potential behind this project altogether. And if you want to take a look at the About Us or even the Audit, because like I said, some of the big things to look into are going to be things that you guys need to dive into yourself. So jump down into the, the description of today's video and click the Volt Inu link and get involved in their website, their Twitter page. Follow them there as well. So you want to stay up to date, obviously, with all things crypto and Volt. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I do want to say, guys, like I said, they do have an audit that did take place, and uh, it's looking like it's pretty much all good. Everything pretty much passed for the most part. And we're seeing, like I said, a lot of good stuff coming out of Volt recently. So we'll keep you up, get up to date. We'll probably do another video here in the next week or so. So keep your eyes open, and I'll see you in the next one.